How to build a social media following. It's not what you think, and here is a great third real example in our short series on the topic. This is my online toolbox providing weekly quick tips and reminders focusing on marketing. And what we've been talking about frequently recently is all of the different social media services that have been pouring into the construction remodeling markets that are showing all different aspects of done for you social media marketing whether it's for Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, LinkedIn, uh, and even email, too many focus in on the sheer volume of their communications. And what we have to do is have you ask yourself, is this what you would want done to yourself by any of your vendors or prospects where they just keep bombarding you with information? And a lot of times, here's what the problem is. The people that believe in it in them for themselves and just keep on sending stuff out over and over and over again, believe in it so heavily that it becomes part of their business model and now you're subscribing to it. So you have to ask yourself if it's the type of environment that you like and you could see your customer just being bombarded with endless information from you and you think it's going to help you, then maybe give it a try. But here's the problem. When you are looking for quality, high quality, you're going to require low quantity of whatever it is you do. And as time and time has shown her, uh, shown people that low quality is always consistent with high quantity. Yes, we get it. Everybody's going to say, but no, our business model is high quality and high quantity. The reality is in order to do it, at least economically, it's impossible. So yes, you might change out a few words, a few pictures, but the reality is it's not going to represent you as your brand. So you're gambling it. And guess what? There's only one person who's going to lose when you find out whether this work works or not, and it's you. And forget about the money. Forget about the lost time. You have to decide whether you're willing to gamble your brand when you're throwing darts at the board and thinking that quantity by sheer volume is going to somehow allow you to look better with prospects and customers. And in this week's example, we're using ourselves. We had numerous customers share with us over the last few weeks copies of their bombardment communications, and they started to then ask us, my online toolbox, why don't you do this? Why don't you do this more often? And over a period of time, keep in mind we are an education strategy and implementation firm, but for the long term, and we get it. Many people don't want to focus on the long term, so they tend to target the short term uh, initiatives. And that is something we don't do because it's not our business model. We're focused on the long term success of a business. And so even with us, we practice what we preach. We only provide a weekly update, not that we couldn't do a daily, not that we couldn't even do a few a day for that matter. But we find that with our long term clients if you went to our testimonials page we don't just randomly show names cryptic names we actually show their businesses everything about the business links to the website but here's the difference many of these people woke up when they approached my online toolbox and they were thinking one two three years out they were not thinking one two three months out and that's a big difference the problem is is that when you're trying to have a long-term strategy you just simply need to plan accordingly so all we want you to do is take a moment and think about it, not think about just how much you could spend and, a t and have a temporary stopgap stop measure in order to fulfill the social media marketplace. You have to realize it's you as the brand. This is my online toolbox reminding you to like us on Facebook, subscribe to us on our YouTube channel, stay healthy, and never forget to start planning yesterday for next year's marketing and profits. Have a great week, and we'll see you next week.